Liberal Viewer presents. So while the situation has been changing rapidly in the Ukraine over the last couple of weeks, even before Russia sent its troops into the Crimean Peninsula and even before the pro-Russian president of the Ukraine, Viktor Yanukovych, fled the country, comedian Bill Maher on HBO's Real Time noticed there's been at least one constant in the story, as he explained in his monologue last month here. It is still a very volatile situation there in Ukraine. Uh, President Obama hasn't really decided exactly what we're going to do, but Fox News uh, has already decided that whatever it is, it's wrong. <laughs> uh, Sean Hannity said today it's either gutless and we'll show the world that we're weak or it's reckless and it's getting us all killed. I'll get back to you on Monday. <laughs> But it didn't even take until Monday for Fox News to prove Bill Maher's point because even in the introduction to the next edition of Fox News Sunday, supposedly straight news anchor Chris Wallace was already framing the events in the Ukraine as being about President Obama's misjudgment, as you can see in this clip. We'll discuss Ukraine's future and whether it will ultimately side with the West or Russia with two leading senators. Dick Durbin, the number two Democrat in the Senate, and Republican Kelly Ayotte, a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. And we'll ask our Sunday panel whether President Obama has badly misjudged Vladimir Putin. I guess on Fox News Sunday, the fair and balanced discussion is about whether Obama misjudged Vladimir Putin or badly misjudged him. And as the events in the Ukraine progressed and the pro-Russian president of the Ukraine, Viktor Yanukovych, fled the country, followed by Russia sending troops into the Crimean Peninsula, the one-sided criticism of President Obama continued on Fox News, as you can see, for example, in the story teaser from supposedly straight news anchor Martha McCallum earlier this week here. Well, as Russia invades Ukraine, the Secretary of State heads to Kiev. But is this too little and is it coming too late? Has a weak U.S. foreign policy led to this moment. So that's just the teaser for the story, but unfortunately the story itself was just as skewed towards blaming Obama as you can see from the story introduction, again from Fox News anchor Martha McCallum in this clip. So as Russia invades Ukraine, the White House taking a very big hit with its critics. Republicans saying that President Obama, is simply, Obama has simply been outmatched by Russian President Vladimir Putin on this, and they say it's not the first time that it also happened during the civil war in Syria and the nuclear talks with Iran. Hmm, and after emphasizing the argument that President Obama is weak in the introduction, Fox News then proceeded to bring on two critics of Obama to discuss the issue, KT McFarland, a Republican who served in the Reagan administration, and retired General Jack Keane, who authored a paper at the Conservative American Enterprise Institute advocating for George W. Bush's Iraq surge policy before becoming a Fox News military analyst, but of course, Fox News failed to identify either of them as partisan Republicans here. Uh, General Jack Keane is a retired four-star general, former vice chief of staff of the Army, and a Fox News military analyst. And KT McFarland is our Fox News national security analyst, having spent a lot of time uh, in the White House and watching the, real, the original Cold War uh, <laughs> unfold and has a lot of uh, expertise in this area as well. So is this, KT, let me start with you. Did mm -hmm. this ball start rolling because of what happened with Syria? <laughs> After that setup, it was no surprise that former Reagan administration official KT McFarland furthered the Fox News narrative, even though she recognized that these kinds of incursions from Vladimir Putin stretch back more than a decade, she really played up the supposed strategic vision of Vladimir Putin and the supposed weakness of President Obama, as you can see in this clip. He's done this for 15 years, and now he's reaping the rewards of the windfall. And he's going systematically, um, country after country, region after region. And he didn't, I don't think he even anticipated he'd find somebody as weak as the Obama Kerry team to take advantage of. But he's rolled him in every way. <laughs> rolled them in every way? I'll address the issue of whether Vladimir Putin is actually winning in this confrontation at the end of the video, but in case anyone thought retired General Jack Keane would bring a little nonpartisan balance to the discussion, you can see him agree with everything KT McFarland said before making his own argument about Obama's lack of leadership, responding to another pretty partisan introduction from supposedly straight news anchor Martha McCallum in this clip. It's, it's stunning. Remarkable. It's stunning. Uh, it is remarkable, especially when you lay it out that way in terms of the 15-year plan that has been going on. So General Keene, uh, you know, militarily, we've watched over the weekend as, you know, Lavrov and Putin told President Obama and John Kerry, oh, don't worry about it. N nothing going on here. Nothing to see here. And then did the absolute opposite. I mean, it's, it's, it's laughable in some ways. Well, yeah, it's a serious 
state of affairs here. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, I, I agree with everything KT said, and I would, just, I would just add this, is that Putin knows the United States is a world power, strong military, much stronger than his, economically dominating still in the world today. But the fact of the matter is, he knows the United States has a leader who does not want to lead the world. So I guess everyone on Fox News agrees that President Obama is weak and not leading, even though he's acting exactly like many previous Republican presidents, including <gasps> Ronald Reagan, because even Reagan had to deal with Russian aggression against its neighbors, as Michael McFaul, the U.S. ambassador to Russia until last month, pointed out on the new MSNBC show Ronan Farrow Daily here. I don't think weak or not. Uh, I think he was going to go into Crimea no matter who was president uh, in the White House. And I would just remind your viewers that he went into Georgia when George W. Bush was president in 2008. And if you go back over time, uh, Eisenhower was president when the Soviets went into Hungary in 1956. And, and even in Poland, when they declared martial law with Soviet assistance, uh, with Bre Leonid Brezhnev backing that, that's when Ronald Reagan was president. Right. There's only uh, so much you can control. And I think uh, we would be better served to think about how we can unify to help uh, the Ukrainians right now, rather than talking about who's weak and who's not. Hmm, I wonder why Katie McFarland from the Reagan administration forgot to mention anything over on Fox News about Reagan's weak reaction to martial law in Poland. And maybe more important than the way everyone on Fox News left out those facts to portray President Obama as weak, was the weird portrayal of Vladimir Putin as this strong leader successfully following a long-term strategy when his military intervention in the Ukraine resulted from the failure of the pro-Putin presidency of Viktor Yanukovych, frustrating Putin's plans, as former Ambassador Michael McFaul also pointed out here. He's frustrated that his uh, partner in that endeavor, President Yanukovych, fled and is now in Russia. That's why he did what he did in Crimea. That was an, an impulsive response to the failure of the Yanukovych regime. That said, I don't think he's figured out what his next move is. I don't think he knows what he wants to do. Uh, he understands the risks of, a, of an all-in-all-out war in Ukraine between Russian soldiers and Ukrainian soldiers. That is a complete disaster uh, for Russia. And so I think he's, he's still trying to figure out what his long-term strategy is here. Hmm, so it looks like Vladimir Putin may not be the strong strategic leader everyone in that Fox News story seemed to think he is, and... I also don't think they were fair to all agree President Obama's policy towards Russia has been a weak failure, but I want to know what you think. Was it fair of everyone on Fox News to agree that President Obama's policy towards Russia has been a weak failure? And on the related question, why do so many on Fox News seem so enamored with the leadership style of Vladimir Putin? I YouTube, you decide.